It's the energy vibration reading for the Taurus Seminar Rising sign. I want to say welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you for my supporting my channel. Um, thank you for the likes and share. Please like and share these videos and welcome if you're a newcomer. I hope you stay. Um, it is the month of November. It is the first month of no first week of November 2017, and it is the week of Halloween. So here we are. Happy Halloween to everyone out there, and it's going to be wonderful because it's going to happen on Tuesday. The energy of this week is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a fire sign. It's a hot fire sign. So let's look and see what is going to happen for you guys because what is happening is that you have the zodiac energy of water. Everyone has the zodiac energy of water and it's a fire and water week. Okay, a fire and water week which is taking place in this week. Halloween, it is Halloween. I love Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays. So let's look what is happening. You guys have the ones, the energy of the ones. The you have the energy to, to deal with a fire sign person, and God knows, I hope it's not the Harrys. I don't know. And there was something that someone stole something from you. We're going to take a look at that, but before that, we have the energy of the Empress. So you guys have the focus of the empress the empress is going to come in the empress is the energy that is going to come in to uh, support you tauruses so whatever your financial situation is whatever you're looking for the empress there is this energy of this female goddess the empress that is going to come in and help you guys so it's a powerful week for you guys to act because it's the wheel of fortune and the empress is here to help you you have a lot of swords energy of the eight of swords on Tuesday on Halloween and you have the four of swords on Friday you need to take rest whatsoever is happening you have the seven of swords which is a situation where someone who is a fire sign has stole something from you and this person can be a Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius so be aware of this person there's a new beginning that is coming in for you. You have the number nine energy, the nine of ones. Nine of ones is that you're protected against the steel, this um whoever this person is. So there is someone who wants to come in, either in your house, um, wherever you are. They want to steal something, but you're divinely protected. You are protected because you're going to kick. You have kicked this person out who came in for whatever reason to see whatever that they could um, find. So someone who is an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius tried to send someone to get some information and something. And they're not going to be able to to come in okay so this is good finally you're protecting yourself from this fire sign person whoever there's gonna be a celebration it's gonna be a wonderful situation wheels of fortune is coming back God the queen of sword whoever she is victory and success so wonderful the three of ones is here with the Empress the three of ones with the empress i love the energy of the threes for the earth sign people please remember to place yourself in a triangle you need to have balance in this week okay this is going to be a very wonderful positive week there is going to be a lot of group actions whatever you're trying to manifest in your life and i love these cards because they are the two triangles that turn upside it down triangles are good for earth people because it brings balance faith so this is a week of fate because we have the wheel of fortune it's also fate so it's a very lucky week for you guys as I'm looking at your weeks we're seeing the seven salvation the ten of cups the tens are here in your life the tens is going to be a vital situation you have the seven of swords and with the seven of swords people are going to help you okay P a little help is going to come in, in. At the end of the day, with the nine of wands on Sunday, what is happening is that you're going to be victorious and success. So whatever you were trying to protect yourself from, that it's going to be a victory and success, okay? Because someone was trying to 
um, someone was really trying to get in somewhere and you are going to realize that they can't get in in whatever and wherever these people are okay so let's look at this on Monday you have a new beginning this is wonderful this is wonderful especially for people the uh, within the ages of 18 20 25 30 35 40 this is a new beginning for you guys this is a wonderful new beginnings and the situation that is happening in your life at this moment whatever you're going through there is going to be absolutely new beginnings these new beginnings are going to bring you to a place where it's going to bring positive energy and good good um, situations in your life okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration on Tuesday happy happy Halloween of the nine of swords the nine of swords is that you finally get in a way and get it out of a nasty situation that's that people have been bringing and you're celebrating this whatever that has happened that you fought you got yourself in the energy vibration of the nine of um, the, the eight of swords you're finally getting yourself out of it and you're having a huge huge celebration your week is crowned by this king of cup a uh, king of wands whoever he is it can be an Aries a Sagittarius of a Leo Whoever this person is, you know, the Ten of Cups is coming in, and it says if it could be for some of you, someone you're partner up with, um, that you're married to, and finally there's an healing that is coming to your relationship because apparently your relationship hasn't been one of the best, and there is an healing coming to your relationship. Okay, um, it can be that this person is really has been your partner for a long time and there's finally a healing coming in on Thursday seems to be a wonderful um, day in this week for some of you um, you have the four of Pentacles so your financial situation is going to come to balance the wheel of fortune is going to bring your financial situation in balance the wheel of fortune is going to bring you wonderful wonderful positive positive energies and it's going to bring you to some place uh, and to a good relationship a good balance uh, you know your your money is going to um, be in balance okay so this is going to be extremely wonderful whatever way you look at it you're going to see that your money is going to the wheel of fortune is going to bring you positive energy on Thursday on Friday we have the energy of the four of sword is a time to rest get away from this person um, if you're having a relationship with someone who is an Aries uh, Gemini or a Libra take time off from this relationship whoever this person take time off from this person whatever it is take time off I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look to see what is going on with this person why you should take time off from this person um I don't know there is a situation that is going on with the hair people take time off from this person let's look and see what is this what is happening with this situation with this person why um yeah it's, 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 it's someone who is very jealous and wow you know they pretend as if you know um, if you are married to someone who is who if you're married to someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra be aware of this person um, they can gut you at any time they can stab you in the back at any time it's not somebody who is stable it's somebody who is a hero sign person um, be aware of this person this person can stab you in the back at any time you know as, as someone who pretend to be you know nice and okay but you know when they don't get their own ways they will stab you in the back so um, be aware of this person on Friday but in another sense they really like you it's it's it's, it's a love-hate relationship <laughs> On Saturday we have the seven 
On Saturday, we have the Seven of Sword and the Seven of Sword. Um, you're going to find out and try and realize that someone has been either playing with your information or trying to steal something from you and you're going to kick the hell out of them. <laughs> Okay. you're gonna get, you're gonna remove them on Saturday so whatever whatever or whoever is trying to manipulate a situation you're going to find out what they were um, planning on doing or that sort of a thing and you're going to remove them out of your life your atmosphere whatever is happening you're going to remove them and you're going to get the help and the charities and the help to do that Okay, so on Saturday, you're going to find out, I'm sorry, you're going to find out that someone is trying to use your information or try to manipulate the situation and you're going to move them away from you. On Sunday, whatever that was happening and you were trying to protect yourself, you're going to be victorious over the situation because you have the energy of the chariot. You're going to be victorious. You're going to move away from the situation. You're going to understand what has been happening, what has been taking place, and you're going to be realizing um, what was happening and that it's, it's as if you were in a place and people were trying to manipulate the situation and trying to make you think that's something and you find out what was happening so you are actually protecting yourself because you are realizing that people has been lying about certain things certain situations and uh, you found out about this and you are going to be victorious over this because you have been protecting yourself from whatever that was playing out you have been so protecting yourself from whatever that has been playing out and you're going to realize that whatever lies whatever things that people were trying to do sneakily behind you are going to find out about this I love this when earth sign so for you as a uh, um, hurt sign the number three energies is um, vibrating the number three energies is here um, the number seven, three, seven, three and seven is ten. Um, one, so one, three, and seven. Um, whatever the situation that you're having with this um, Aquarian, Li, Libran, or Gemini person, whatever the relationship, it's going to be a good relationship. It's actually a good relationship, but be careful of this person because they can turn on you like in the blink of an eye. Okay, so whoever you're having a friendship with this person who is a Libra, a Gemini, or a Aquarius, be aware because this person can turn on you. But it's good. Look at the first week. The first part of the week is going to be a celebration. Your celebration is a new beginning and celebration. And whoever was stealing from you, whoever you're going to find out, you're going to kick them to the curb and you're going to get help help little help little things are coming in so let's say that someone was trying to steal from you someone was trying to as you turn your back they're trying to get in your information your things your bag because people really do that if you believe that people really do that they will go in your stuff people people have absolutely no respect there's some people who are really sick because that's like going over the line of sickness when you want to go in people's things to mess around you know that's nasty but anyway here we are this is the world that we live in and and the second half of the week is the wheel of fortune and this wheel of fortune is is healing your financial situation which is very good because this wheel of fortune is going to bring you positive energy and it's going to bring you financial balance in your world then we have the nine of ones where it is that you're protecting yourself and you're going to be victorious over it this is going to be good for a lot of you out there thank God um, the energy that we have on Friday take rest um, if you don't feel like going out with this person you know don't go take rest um, this person really wants to connect with you but as I said this person will gut to you in the, in, the, in, the, in the quint of an eye so you know connect with this person be good smile always smile no matter what is happening always smile but be aware of what is happening you're an earth sign and uh, be aware of what is happening um yeah 
So as we're looking at this and we're trying to understand how this whole week is, is coming up, you know, someone wa wants to connect with you, this woman, because she knows, you know, you can be very good I am together. So you're an earth sign. If uh, this person want to connect, just realize that this person can just turn on you in the blink of an eye. Okay. It's very important because these messages are coming out. So obviously it's something that you need to know. Is there love in this week? It's all about yourself. Yes, there is the Ten of Cups, whatever that has happened um, for the women who are with fire sign men, whatever that has transpired, there is going to be an healing that is coming in. This healing is going to be good that I, I, I am seeing. This healing is going to be good. Your financial situation is going to be good. Whatever situation that you got yourself in, that you was as if you were in these eight swords that you weren't seeing, you didn't understand what was going through. A lot of things that was unclear is going to be clear. There is going to be a success. There is going to be happiness. There is going to be grace coming in. Three of Cups celebration that you have gotten uh, yourself out. It's like an ant's nest that you, it's like an, a cobweb. It's like a spider web that you got so caught up in and uh, um, you were going to release yourself from that. So the only energy of the love is that a lot of you are going to be connected with other people and that connection is going to come through that the universal angels sending certain people in certain situations in your life. The Wheel of Fortune is coming to bring your financial situation in balance. Uh, you end the week on a good note, justice, justice, um, and that you victoriously come out of a situation. And on Friday, someone wants to connect with you. Someone to, wants to bring you on board. Go, but always remember that this person anytime can, you know, like snap. Yeah. It does happen. Okay. <laughs> But um, open up. Um, we are all different, so let's look and see what is happening. The Eye Princess of the Hair, the Eye Princess of the Hair, and here is she on Friday. I was just speaking about that. That's the nasty one, and this is the one of the night that is going to protect you. So let's see what the eye princess of the hair, because the eye princess, this person wants to connect with you. This person really wants to have a connection with you for whatever reason you told us is. And, you know, she came up twice, and she came up through the house of wisdom. So let's see what she says. You have drawn the symbol of the vampire eye princess of the hair, the goddess of the rational thought. This is the goddess of rational thought. Logic thinking, reasoning, and using your mind to consider the next right actions or the quality and courage by the vampire eye princess of the hair. Now is the time to think before you act. You are blessed with a wondrous mind and imagination. Your ability to communicate is an ounce. When you meet the eye princess of the hair, this is the moment to have reasoning ability, conversation, and make a um, calculate decision. So this is wonderful, actually, because what is happening is that this eye princess of the hair comes in and she's going to help you to move you to a place beyond your wildest imagination that you weren't aware of. And she's going to help you to do that. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a card pink. Pink. That's all that I have. Okay, so. Um, the secrets to getting rich is knowing that you're ready or and then act like you are. Do tell me who manages your access and those gems. Are they real? Yes, they are. So this is a wonderful, powerful week. This is a beautiful messages for you Tauruses. I'm wishing you 
all a wonderful positive week please like share these videos I want to thank all of you Tauruses all of you Tauruses that has been working with me being with me from the beginning of my existence um, to um, yeah to you know connect and know that this is right and this is positive this is good energy vibration this is good for us because there's an understanding of how we need to um, manifest certain things certain situation in our lives and we need to understand where we are at this moment I want to thank you and I'm saying namaste until next week